There you go, that's the festive crispy squid. Amazing crust. Don't knock it till you fry it. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 deep fried foods. Now what we do is we fold it into this heart healthy canola oil. We're okay. gonna float cook it, ready? For this list, we're keeping it simple. These are the tastiest deep fried foods this world has to offer. I'll put this recipe in the Gravity's Rainbow Cookbook right next to the frying of Latka 49. Number 10, egg roll. When it comes to takeout Chinese food, this is hands down one of the most popular dishes. But according to food author Andrew Ko, the humble egg roll was actually invented in New York City in the 1930s. And the quality of the food was affected by immigration. Many cultures have dishes similar to this Chinese takeout favorite, but you know a classic egg roll when you see and taste one. It's okay, it's just an egg roll. Oh. You stepped on my egg roll! Similar to spring rolls, which are made with rice paper, egg rolls are different in that they're made with a flour-based dough, which gives their wrapping a distinctly crispy yet chewy texture, and has the added meaty goodness of chicken, pork, or shrimp shoved inside. Plus, we think it counts as a serving of veggies, since there's some carrots and cabbage stuffed in there, too. Oh, yeah. Talk to me, cabbage. Number nine. Corn dog. See, if we score 125 points, that means we gotta give everybody in here a free corn dog, right? Yeah, sorry, Monks, we don't even got corn dogs. Is there any fried food more quintessentially American than these puppies? A hot dog on a stick, dipped in corn batter and deep fried to golden perfection. It's a tasty carnival and boardwalk treat, reminiscent of a simpler time. Give me a bite of that corn dog. What about germs? Put a rubber on it. The origin of the corn dog is highly contested, with multiple parties taking responsibility. But we do know that it appeared in its earliest form, minus the stick, in 1927. What are corn dogs? <laughs> Cheap sausages dipped in butter and deep fried. You know, uh, America. It's since been reinterpreted every which way, like trading the corn batter for a battered French fry crust, giving you a hot dog and fries wrapped in one. But the classic interpretation, as celebrated on National Corn Dog Day, simply can't be beat. Make sure it's completely covered, and then into oil at 180 degrees Celsius for three or four minutes. Number eight, samosa. Samosas are usually enjoyed hot and crispy. Although common in many regions of the world, including Southeast Asia, North Africa, East Africa, the Middle East, and more, samosas are most strongly associated with Indian cuisine, mentioned in history books as early as the 10th century. Everything getting ready for tomorrow? Yes, Master Chi, Mom's making the samosas. Aha! May God keep you and your husband in endless happiness. The most popular main dishes in Indian cuisine are curry dishes, meat and or vegetables in a thick, flavorful sauce served with rice or naan bread. They're delicious, but not exactly an ideal food on the go. Samosas, on the other hand, are the perfect quick and portable tasty treat. A wheat or maida flour shell is stuffed full of potato, peas, spices, green chilies, and sometimes meat, then deep fried. Paired with either mint sauce or a tamarind chutney, samosas are generally affordable and sure to satisfy. Number seven, fried calamari. Congratulations, Reg. It's a squid. Squid is an extremely popular food in the Mediterranean, Asia, and certain areas of Europe, South Africa, and the Middle East, where it's served in countless different preparations. In North America, however, fried calamari reigns supreme. A popular dish, especially in seafood restaurants and bars, fried calamari is a great alternative to your more run-of-the-mill appetizers like mozzarella sticks or wings. Diving in. Oh, dorsal meat heaven. Knock me down and call me Susan. That's a wing. Calamari can get tough and chewy if overcooked, so keep it under two minutes in the fryer and serve with lemon for a simple yet scrumptious treat. Got a friend who's grossed out by squid? Slip a couple of fried calamari in amongst their onion rings and change their minds. I can't help feeling this is my fault. Why? Just because you ordered the squid surprise? <laughs> Just make sure they don't have a seafood allergy first. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh! 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 Number six, onion rings. I want onion rings. It's a donut. <laughs> Speaking of those delicious crispy rings of vegetable goodness, you didn't think we'd leave them out, did you? Is there any better way to eat an onion than in their deep-fried, battered ring form? 
to me, it's all about the balance of how much of the batter is on the outside and how much you can taste the onion. You can go for a simple milk and flour batter, but given that they're a classic bar food, you really need to try beer battering them to experience onion rings at their best. A&W is credited with helping to popularize them across the states as a fast food side. But recipes can be found dating back as far as the early 1800s. If an onion ring was good enough to stand in as a wedding ring for Marge Simpson, then it's good enough for us. Just give us a whole plate. Marge. Poor Vu. <sighs> Would you mind if I took it off now? The oil is burning my finger. Oh, sure. Number five, donuts. Mmm, donuts. <laughs> donuts come in all shapes and sizes, with many related dishes around the world, including funnel cakes, beignets, churros, and lucumas. But when you hear the word donut, it's hard not to imagine the classic powdered version, or frosted with sprinkles. There are a number of contested stories explaining how donuts developed their famous shape. Some believe the tale of a sea captain who, struggling to hold his oil cake and the wheel of his ship, poked or shot a hole through the cake's center, creating a donut hole. Others say some savvy cook simply realized they'd bake more evenly in a ring shape. Regardless, they've only grown in popularity since, and were a staple for young men serving in World War I. Good morning to you both. Donuts. Go nuts. <laughs> Number four, tempura. Sushi is fresh out of the sea. Tempura is fresh out of the oil. Accent on f -f fresh. Tempura isn't your typical frying batter. It's usually made with cold water, wheat flour, egg, and optional spices. Tempura is traditionally cooked in sesame seed oil, which helps give it a distinct flavor and preserves its uniquely light, crispy texture. The batter is also kept very cold and mixed minimally to avoid triggering the gluten, which would result in a more doughy finished product. Japanese society has been frying food since ancient times, but the current base recipe, still used today, can be traced back to 1671. Tempura is usually applied to vegetables and seafood, with shrimp serving as a particularly lovely pairing. It's typically served on a bed of rice or with soba noodles, or accompanied by a dipping sauce. Number three, French fries. Potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Whether you say potato or potato, let's call the whole thing delicious and deep fry these suckers. From fries to chips to pommes de terre frites, you know you're ordering something delicious. This side dish has been reinterpreted too many ways to count, but you'd be hard pressed to find someone who doesn't enjoy a basic side of perfectly cooked fries seasoned with some combination of salt, ketchup, vinegar, or mayo. Eric devours one and a half pounds of french fries each and every day, the equivalent of a staggering 1,600 potatoes a year. Funnily enough, french fries may not have even originated in France, though the French do still argue it. Instead, some trace their origin to Belgium, dating back to the 1600s. American soldiers first encountered the delicious side dish there in World War I, where the local language is French, and thus referred to them, wrongly, as French fries. Pommes frites. Fries are pommes frites. Number two, fried fish. A fish fry? A fish fry? It's a fish fry, yo! Yeah, baby, fish fry! Some iteration of this dish exists in most cultures around the world. That being said, most fried fish dishes can be traced back to pescado frito, a dish that originated in the Andalusia region of Spain. Historians believe that Spanish Jews emigrating to England introduced the dish upon their arrival in the 17th century, and that it then evolved into the widely popular English dish, fish and chips. Two fish and chips is promised. Typically, cheaper fish is used, since the battering and frying technique helps to mask bland flavors through seasoning and pleasant textures. But cheap fish or not, when properly spiced up, fried fish is simply divine. Thank you very much. Mm. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Just whip up your favorite dipping sauce, whether it be marinara, some sort of herb aioli. After your fried pickles have cooled, serve them with a creamy dipping sauce of your choice and wash them down with a cold beer or iced tea. Mudge Simpson's wasabi buffalo wigs? Oh, an Eastern twist on a Western New York favorite. Once it's a beautiful golden brown color, remove it from the oil and place it on a plate covered with paper towel. Repeat the battering and frying process with the rest of the bars. Number one, fried chickens. 
Fried chicken is fry fry chicky chick. With a wide variety of possible preparation techniques, Southern style is still the most iconic version. The idea was first brought to the table by Scots immigrating to the U.S., where African slaves got a taste and made it even better. A staple of soul food, when properly prepared, fried chicken is a textural combination that's hard to beat. What? The flour dredge provides a satisfying, crunchy exterior when fried, giving way to mouth-wateringly juicy meat on the interior. There are some fast food juggernauts from KFC to Popeyes and Chick-fil-A that claim to have perfected the recipe. But at heart, fried chicken is still a home-cooked meal above all else. And if you're in a breakfasty mood, add some waffles or go to LA's Roscoe's. Love, baby, love! Do you agree with our list? Just put it on a plate and leave. What's your favorite deep fried food? Hey, Homer, slow down. You're going to choke or something. For more mouth watering top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. So, whenever you're pressed for time, you feel like a night off. Let the Colonel and his boys answer the question of what to get for dinner.